Fortunately, hard drives are pretty cheap these days, so you could save everything that you record, whether it's useful or not. Well, that's not really a very efficient way to work, so let's talk about how to save what you need and get rid of the rest. Let's say that we brought in the elephant, we thought it was going to work out, didn't really work out, he's gone from the timeline now, but he's still in the clip bin. I want him out of here. So let's try and delete him. There must be a delete over here somewhere. Well, no, it's not in there. Well, then surely it must be up here in the file menu. Well, no, there's no delete there. There is no delete command, but Shift Command B lets you clear. It kind of escalates here as you go across. So remove means remove it from this session, but let it exist in the audio files folder for this session. But I just don't want to see it in my session as I'm working. Move to trash is kind of an escalation of remove. It means remove it and move it to the trash. The next step is delete. And that means remove it from this session, move it to the trash, and empty the trash. Now let's cancel out of that. Let's choose clockwork and try to clear that. And if I say remove, Pro Tools will say it's being used in a track or an undo queue or in the clipboard. Do you still want to clear it? Let me just say no to this. If I try and delete the clip by deleting the track, it will say active clips were found on the tracks. Do you want to delete these tracks? I'll go ahead and delete them and I'll delete the other clockwork. But notice that it's still in the clip bin. Now, while we're here talking about clearing and deleting, right under that is the rename function. And I wanted to go over this one more time. I can name the clip only or name the clip and the disks file. Sometimes you might want to have a different name in the bin that you have on the disk file. 